familiar with Naturena, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you feel at ease. I'm more at ease knowing that I'm coming back home and I'm coming to a, a lot of friends. And in football, you have friends when you're successful and you, and you have enemies when you're not successful. But I think I understand the culture of Kaiser Chiefs and, uh, and that's the reason it feels, feels good to be coming back. As a football coach, the memories that you, that you have, the strongest ones are usually about winning. You can't change that. We're in, we're in an industry where winning is the, is the top priority. But I felt that during the time I was at Naturena that the players developed, the bond between the players and the supporters developed, and I felt that the club was in a, a very dynamic time at that, at that stage. We were building the new we were building at Naturain and things were moving forward quite rapidly. So I think it's a, the whole thing is not just about winning. Of course, as a professional, that was, those are good memories. Picking up a trophy is always a good memory. But I think it was more about the whole, the whole procedure, the whole thing that was going on at the time in Kaiser Chiefs. The whole technical team, I think apart from Dylan, I think I've worked with. Malefi, I've worked with Bafana, and uh, it feels good that he's involved in this project because he's a, he's a proper football person uh, with a good understanding of the game. I've worked with Coach Arthur before. Arthur was the first, he was with me my first time. And so we get on well, and uh, I think he was also, as a player, I think also in my first Bafana stint, Arthur was just uh, around at that time. And so I've been just about with the, with the whole of the technical team at some, at some time. So it's an exciting one. And Dylan and Arthur, they are coaches in their own right. And uh, anything I can do to help them to gain the weapons that they're gonna need on the battlefield in the future, it's my pleasure to do that. I'm sure that all over the world, the, the clubs that have the strongest support, the home stadiums that have the most intimidating atmosphere, those are the teams that have suffered most in COVID, undoubtedly. And uh, Chiefs, no, no exception. I'm sure that with supporters in the stadium, results are better. That's a fact of life in the COVID world. It doesn't feel great because I want to build again, as I said, that that bonding between the players and the club and the, and the supporters. But we've got to do it in a different way. In any case, I hope that the, the football that we play and the results that we get will make the supporters proud. The difference between last time and this time for me with Chiefs is the fact that the, the expectations will be massive this time round. I think when you're a coach at Chiefs, the temptation is to think about the trophy first and not the game first. And I think that's, that can lead to frustration. So the challenge for me will be handle those expectations, stay focused on the, on the path and not the destination. Then I think the trophies will follow. I'd like to just give a, a quick message to the supporters of Amakosi. It's a massive, massive hole in our hearts that you guys are not in the stadium to, to be with us and to, to support us and to have that contact with us. Hopefully that will change. Gradually, both you get into the stadiums and gradually as time goes on, that we can start to play football that you want us to play and that we enjoy playing. And then together we can make better results. I'm a cause for life.